This video will be used to showcase how to navigate around Yafundi. First of all, you need to go to the page of Yafundi through your browser by typing in yafundi.nwu.ac.za. You will be taken to this home page of Yafundi. On the right hand top, you will see the login button where you can click on and this will navigate you to the, to the page where the Northridge University will verify your university number and password for you to enter your fundi. You can enter your university number and your password. If you don't know what your password is or you have never signed into your fundi or into GroupWise before, then you can make use of your ID number or if you are a citizen outside of South Africa, you may use your passport number to enter your fundi. After you have used your ID number or passport number, you will be asked to give a new password and this will become your permanent password to make use to log into your fundi or otherwise into GroupWise as well. While we wait for the page to open on your fundi, just a short information about GroupWise. This is your email account to, for the Northwest University that has been given to you. Your address will be your university number, your student number, at nwu.ac.za. And this you can also access by going to GroupWise via the homepage of the NWU. At the bottom you will find the link. Right, back to your fundi. You will see on the left hand side a few menu buttons um, that consist of your home, your personal profile, your membership and then we skip a few to go down to study guides, the third one from the bottom. Here you can find any study guide um, of a module that is registered at the Northwest University. For this practical example we're going to make use of the NTS triple one we're going to search it and here you will find the study guides for the past three years um, in the date you will first find the module name NTS the triple one that is your year the semester and then the variable number for the module the information at the end the PAD stands the first letter of all these stands for P for Potch of Strum and the M for Muffy King the A for Afrikaans and the E for English, the D stands for distance and the C for contact. In this order you will then choose the specific study guide that is applicable to you. This exercise we will use the Poch Afrikaans distance guide. You can click on the guide and then it will open in a PDF format. You can then also scroll through the guide or you can go and download this guide at the right hand top on that paper with a button that shows downwards. You can click there on download and then save the file to your computer. You can navigate back to your home page and then here from your home page you will see on the right hand side the different subjects that you are all registered for in the different sites. Um, in your workspace here's the different sites as well and then on your calendar you will see here the important dates from the different sites that's been already entered. Um, these dates are specifically in my site for NC612 that I have due assignments. To find the different sites you will see that at the top. These vary from um, each person to person for the sites that you are registered for. If you have more than three sites that you are registered for you can also click here on more sites and a dashboard will open where you will see all the different sites that you are registered for. For this exercise we will make use of NTS 612 e 2014 with the lecturer is Prof. Fikar Janse van Rensburg. On the left hand side you will see for each site there is different tools. This depends on the tools that the lecturer wants to use. We're going to start here at the top, your home page, where you will get the information that the lecturer has put down for you, the announcements, the calendar, and this calendar is only for this site and the information that has been carried in the calendar. The next one is the lessons tool. This is once again, it's the different tools that the lecturers uh, want to make use of. So um, Profika made use of the lessons tool. Here you can navigate 
for instance, to the English tab, and then the letter information and the contact details. Here he gave all his information. We can go one back and uh, to seminar one. And within seminar one, there's all the information and the different buttons and also the assignment within the lesson that he has built. The next tool is the assignments tool. This is the one that most lecturers will use. I'm just going to use the student view for your ease. And you will see here's the list of assignments that uh, the lecturer has given to you. So I'm going to use the assignment 6 for NT612 as an example. Here you will find the title, the due date of the assignment, the status, it hasn't been started, the grade scale, you can get a maximum of 100 points, and uh, when last the instructor modified this assignment. Here you will get all the information that the lecturer has put in for you into the assignment. And at the bottom, here you will get submission. Uh, this is where you, when you have finished your ass uh, assignment, you can upload the assignment by clicking on Browse. Then you can scroll to any place on your computer where the document is. I've gone to uh, my computer to my documents under my name, Christu, and I'm going to use this document um, for for an example, yeah, I up upload the document. It unfortunately takes you back all the way up to the page. Uh, then you just have to scroll down again. And here you will see that the document is uploaded. I can remove it and upload it again if I uploaded the wrong document. Uh, you will get an honor pledge where you have to click. This is just to verify that this is your personal work. And then you click submit. For this exam example, I'm not going to submit it, but when you click on submit, you will then also get a message that says they will send an email to you uh, verifying that you've uploaded the assignment. This email will be sent to your group-wise email address, as I've explained previously in the video. The next tool is the announcements. Here the lecturer can put any announcements he wants to give through to the students and also to the rest of the people who is part of the site. Here you will get, for instance, your assignments and um, the marks, the exam marks, the test marks and so on uh, can also be given through to you via announcements. The next tool that's very important is resources. Here the lecturer can give any documents through to you. He can, for instance, make use of the reader um, and give you extra work to read documents. Uh, so it's very important to go to your resources and look at the different resources that the lecturer gave to you that's available. The next tool is Gradebook. Gradebook is where you will find your personal marks that the lecturer has uploaded when you have finished an assignment or any form of test that he wants you to have a look at um, within your environment. Um, as I'm not a student, so um, I can't see exactly how the marks looks in this Gradebook, but in your personal gradebook, you will be able to see your personal marks or your grade for the different assignments or tests. So this is the basic way to navigate around your fundi. Um, you can make use of the tools on the left-hand side and choose the site at the top. If you have any trouble navigating around in your fundi, please contact your lecturer and they will assist you.